Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of my voxel tutorial series. Now as we know, voxels are just cubes. So obviously, we can just keep duplicating this cube over and over again and boom, we have Minecraft and Godot. However, there's a pretty big glaring issue with this. See, Minecraft is made of a lot of cubes. For example, this is just a 4x4x16 four four chunk. And if I go ahead and turn on wireframe, you'll see that we have a lot of wasted internal geometry that can just be removed because this is just one solid block after all. And this can be achieved by what's known as face calling. Here's just an example with my very poorly drawn squares. We have this face right here that doesn't actually need to be here because this will be hidden along with this one, this one, this one, and this one. And as we all know, one square is two triangles, so this is saving us 10 triangles, which may not seem like a lot at first, but scale this up to the size of Minecraft and it's a lot. So the easiest solution is going to be generating the voxels through code and checking the neighboring faces along the way. Because our, we are still going to be using the Mesh Instance 3D node, however, it's not going to have a mesh in it since we're going to be generating it through code. Next, we're going to add a script to it. We won't be needing the process function, however, we're going to keep the ready function. We're going to make this a tool script so it can run in the editor. And since I don't want to close and reopen the scene every time I want to apply changes, I'm going to head to Editor, Editor Settings, head to Shortcuts, type in Reload. Look at Reload Save Scene. Here we can add a key binding. I'm going to do Control R, however, you can do anything you like. Now, if I close this, Press Control R, click Reload Safe Scene, it will reload the current scene. Back in our script now, we're going to be creating two variables, one of which being the size of the individual cubes. So, at export, variable, cube, size, set this to be a float to 1.0. And we also want a variable for our cube mesh, so variable, cube, mesh, this will be an array mesh. Now let's begin creating the faces of the individual voxels. Let's go and make a new function, call it create face. We'll take in a direction variable, this will be a vector Three. This will be what direction our face is facing, so up, down, left, right, back, front. We will also need a position variable, so position vector three, and also a UV chords variable. This will be an array. This will be for what our UVs are for our textures. And this whole function will be returning a dictionary, so dictionary. We'll need three different variables for our array mesh, one of which being our vertices, so variable vertices. This will be an array. Another which being our normals, so normals being an array and also our UVs, also an array. We'll be using a switch table to check which face we need to make with the provided direction. So, match, direction, vector three, dot, up, and I've also just added the rest of the directions. So for our top face, we'll be using these four vertices. So since our cube has a width of one, all these vertices will be offset by 0.5 from the origin. So let's go ahead and set our vertices array, so vertices, gets a new array, and obviously each vertice will have to be offset by the position, so position plus a vector 3 for our vertice. This vertice will be negative 0.5 on the x, 0.5 on the y, and negative 0.5 on the z. And since we also want this to scale to our cube size, we'll do times cube size. And here are the rest of the vertice positions. Now I will be pasting this part in the description down below. However, take notice of how this works. As you can see, all the y values are the same. That's because we're working on the top face. Obviously, all these vertices are on the same Y level, they just change on the X and Z. And now we need to set the normals, and since the normals will be the same for each individual vertice, above here, we can set normals dot resize to size of 4. And then here, we can use the dot fill, so normals dot fill vector 3 dot up. And since we're going to be handling UVs in the second part of the series, we're just going to be setting UVs to UV chords for now. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same for each individual face. However, the vertices are going to be different and they will be pasted in the description down below. And now we need to tell the engine the order of which we want to connect our vertices. So we'll be using a counterclockwise winding order. So for our first triangle, we'll be using the 0, 1, and 2 vertices. And for our second, we'll be using the 0, 2, and 3 vertices. So for our return dictionary, we'll be doing return dictionary. Our first value will be our vertices. So vertices, this will be set to an array. We'll be referencing our individual vertices. So first, vertices 0 two vertices, one, two vertices, two. And that's our first triangle. Next will be vertices, zero, vertices, two, and vertices, three. And we'll be doing the exact same thing for our normals and our UVs, just like this. Before we generate our mesh, we're gonna need a 3D array of all of our voxels. So let's first create a new variable called voxels. This will be an array. We also want variables for the width, height, and depth of our chunk. So I just went ahead and put those right here. Let's go and create a new function called generate voxels. This will return an array. We're setting a variable array in here to be a blank array. We'll first resize it to the width. So dot resize width. Then we'll do a for loop. So for x in width array x, we'll get another blank array. Then array x 
dot resize to height. Then for y in height, array x, y, we'll get a blank array, and then array x, y dot resize depth. So for our voxels, we'll be representing each individual block with a different number. So for example, zero for air, one for dirt, two for grass. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna be doing zero for air and one for block. So for now, let's just spawn in all blocks. So for x in width, for y in height, and for z in depth, array x, y, z, we'll be set to one, and then we will return the array. And then up our already function, we'll be setting voxels to be generate voxels. And one more quick thing, we'll be setting a variable for our UVs, which will be an array. And since we are going to be going over UVs in this tutorial, I'll just be filling it in with six zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now to generate our mesh, we'll create a new function called generate mesh, passing in voxels. We need an array to hold all the faces that we generate. So variable faces gets an array. Now we'll go and loop over all of our voxels. So for x in range voxels dot size, then for y in range voxels x dot size. Then finally for z in range voxels x y dot size. We need to first check if the block is not an air block. So if voxels x y z is not equal to zero. We're going to be setting our position, so variable position, to be voxels x, y, z times cube size. Now it's going to create the faces, so faces dot append, create face, passing in vector three dot left for the first face, then passing in position, and also UVs. And they'll do essentially the same thing for all the faces. Now we'll combine all of them into one mesh, so variable vertices. This will be set to an array, variable normals, an array, variable UVs, variable. Now we'll go ahead and loop over the individual faces. So for face in faces, vertices, plus gets face, vertices. And then we'll do the same thing for all the other variables. Just like that. Now we need to convert these to packed arrays. So variable vertex array. We'll get packed vector three array, passing in vertices. Next variable normal array. We'll get a packed vector three array, passing in normals. And then finally variable UV array. This will be a packed vector two array, passing in UVs. And now we need one final array for our array mesh. So variable arrays, we set to an array, arrays dot resize to mesh dot array max to max out the size, and then arrays mesh dot array vertex, we set to the vertex array, then arrays mesh dot array normal, we set to normals, array, and finally, arrays, mesh, dot, array, texture, UV, we set to UV, array. Now we'll go and set up our cube mesh, so cube mesh gets array, mesh, dot, new, cube mesh, dot, add, surface from arrays, mesh, dot, primitive, triangles, and then passing in arrays. And finally, we'll set our self dot mesh to be cube mesh. Now in our ready function, after we set the voxels, we'll call generate mesh passing in voxels. And now if we refresh our scene, you'll see that it generates our chunk. However, we still need to get rid of this excess geometry. Let's go and check if we have a left neighbor. So if X equals zero or voxels X minus one, Y, Z is also go to zero then we have no left neighbor, so we can spawn the left face. And here are the checks for all the directions. Now, if we refresh the scene, 
you'll see we remove all the internal geometry. Now if we go and remove one of the top blocks and make it an air block, by doing this, then refreshing, you'll see that it properly recalculates the geometry. Here's the same thing but with a lot more blocks removed. Anyways guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.